What up, Bundy Sports Network here. Third round to seventh round draft pick. Draft picks. Well, Broncos don't have a seventh round pick because I think they traded it. Yep. And they do not have a f fourth round pick because they traded it to get the GOAT Drew Locke. So um, let's evaluate. Broncos selected out of Ohio State, DeMonte Jones. He's um he's uh, 6'3", 295 pounds. Big guy. You can put him at defensive tackle and um, right end or defensive end. Um, left end or right end. Um, I think um, he looks good. You know, he's played with that nice defensive t uh, line with uh, Nick Bosa and um, Dexter Lawrence. Those guys are beasts. So he knows how to play with um, good talent around him. And you know what? You know, he can help this team because we lost Pecco. And, you know, another defensive end won't fucking hurt this team at all. At all. You know, game better. Defense is good. John Owe, he drafted... He drafted a wide receiver, offensive lineman, and uh, quarterback. So he drafted offensive wise. Only six people he drafted. Um, and he drafted Justin Holland, Holland, Demonte Jones. In uh, who else did he draft? I think he, yeah, he drafted four offensive players, only two defensive players. That was weird for John Elway drafting only two defensive players. But let's go with Justin Holland's. Linebacker, we need a linebacker. No fucking Brandon Marshall. No Shane Ray. No no Brand Mar no Shane Ray. No Brand Marshall. No Shaquille Barrett. Those guys gone. Those guys gone. And now we got Justin Hollins, which can help, you know, he's a B six five. So he can just swat the balls all the time. Swat and get some picks and um he'll no stats here, but I heard that he got eight forced fumbles in two years. And that was, um, that's fucking impressive, you know. Um, creating turnovers can help the team out. It can change the game. It can change the game forever, man. That's why the Broncos should lock up Chris Harris Jr. tomorrow or sometime in the future. If they trade Chris Harris Jr., then fuck, I'll be mad about it. But, um, you know, Justin Hollins, welcome to the Broncos. And then uh, they trade a fifth round pick to get Dakota Watson. Dakota Watson, former Bronco. He played with um, the Buccaneers, the Jaguars, the Dallas Cowboys, the Patriots. He already has a little bit of sin on him. The Broncos, again, the Broncos, the Niners, they went back to the Broncos. Um, you know, he's been a veteran, and, you know, he, he can help the linebacker spot, of course, because we lost few linebackers in the process this off season, and um you know good good trade it was just a fifth and we got a sixth round pick in the process and shit and then the broncos traded up to get joan winfrey wide receiver from colorado damn right we got two colorado boys dalton reisner which i mispronounced his name i call him dalton reisen i think reisen sounds better but don't it Dalton Reisner, and they got Joan Winfrey, you know, we don't have DT, so DT was gone during the year, and uh, other receiver would have helped this team out, because you know what, you know who else got hurt? Emmanuel Sanders during the year, so, and that depth will be, you know, huge, he's not going to be a top receiver ever, ever, but you never know, you know, you never know, he can be a top receiver, but uh, he's going to be depth, uh, Colorado kid. We got a lot of Colorado kids. Um, Colorado, the Rams, the Ram. No, it's not the Rams. It's the the Buffaloes have been like a farm system for the Broncos um, for a few years. And you know what? This was a good pickup. Um, good pickup. Uh, they signed a few undrafted guys too in the process. And um, I think the Broncos had a great draft. Um, not a great draft, a decent draft. You know, they only had six picks. But um, moving up to get, moving down was pretty damn good because, you know, they got three decent offensive players and Drew Locke, your quarterback for the future. Dalton Reisner, a guy that can help protect the quarterback at guard. And he can block, good blocking skills. And you got um, Noah Font, which he, he wants to be blocking and he can be a nice tight end for Joe Flacco during this year. And um, I hope he's the number one tight end for this team. And, you know, this team... 
John Elway filled the positions that were needed. Now it's up to the players to, you know, live up to the hype and, you know, step up and, you know, play for this team. This team, I love this team. I love the city. I've never been there, but I heard it's awesome. You know, I heard the stadium's awesome. I'm going to a Broncos game, well, a Bills game, but it's going to be a lot of Broncos fans there because tickets are pretty damn cheap. And, uh, yeah, Bonnie Sports Network signing out. Um, good draft by Johnny. And uh, other than that, go Broncos. And um, fuck the Chiefs. Fuck the Steelers. Fuck every single team opposed to the Broncos because the Broncos are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Not saying Super Bowl champs, but go Broncos. <laughs>